Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. Today is actually Sunday. It is quarter afternoon and it's going to be a afternoon weekend prep video today because we just got back from four days in a cabin with no running water and an outhouse and it was a rather interesting experience. If you want to see that video, I will <laughs> link it down below for you guys to watch. But now I have some things to uh, get done the rest of the afternoon. I have some cleaning to do around the house. I have some meal prep to do. I have to go and get groceries, laundry, and all of those good things. So come along with me this afternoon. We'll see what we can get done for <laughs> the week. And right now I'm going to go take a shower. Actually, everyone is going to take showers because we need it after basically uh, camping in a cabin for four days. All right, it's 1.30 and we did not stop and eat lunch on the way home. So I'm just fixing Connor uh, some lunch right now and I'm gonna fix myself something. So I took stuff to make sandwiches to the cabin with, a, with us, but we didn't end up using them just cause we went out for lunch. So I have some Hawaiian rolls left over and I have some turkey and some cheese. So I'm just gonna make some sandwiches real quick. And then after, before we left, I put all of our produce in the refrigerator so that it wouldn't get like fruit flies all over it while we were gone. And I had some pears left over. So I just made Connor a couple turkey sandwiches and some fresh pears and a few cheeses. All right, so I'm currently at Hy-Vee. I just picked up my groceries at Walmart. So that was good. Anytime like we go out of town for the weekend, I love the ability to be able to order my groceries and then pick them up when I get back into town. As someone was telling me in my comments today that now they have Walmart Plus, which is basically a membership where you can scan your groceries as you shop and then just pay for them without having to check out. And I am intrigued by that. I think Sam's already does that, but I don't have a Sam's membership. But then the other thing too is that they offer like delivery, pay like 98 bucks a year and then get free delivery all year, but they don't deliver to my house, uh, which is interesting. My, our house is actually outside city limits. It's in the county, not the city. And so I think sometimes like even like restaurants who deliver, they won't deliver to our house either, even though it's just like right on the other side of the county line. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I have to run in here because I need fennel for a recipe and Walmart, my, my Walmart <laughs> does not have fennel. Uh, I actually ordered fresh thyme and they said they gave it to me, which is surprising because I am not always able to get fresh herbs at Walmart. But anyway, I'm just going to run in here for a few things. And then when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got at the store this week. A lot of it is for uh, recipe testing for my new cookbook. So that is exciting. So I wanted to take a quick second and let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Mizen. And I'm super excited to be working with them again. You guys know if you've watched any of my videos that I am an avid lover of their chef's knife and I've worked with them on that in the past but in today's video I'm going to be showcasing their nonstick pans. Later in the video when I make dinner I'm going to be using one of their nonstick pans to make a uh, lemon and brown butter broccoli that turned out really really good but if you haven't seen Mizen's nonstick pans before they are induction gas and electric range compatible and they're also oven safe up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit which is really awesome if you want to go from the stovetop to the oven they also have a unique plasma primer that helps their nonstick coating last longer and these primers help make nonstick pans last longer um, and cheaper nonstick pans do not use these. If you guys are interested in trying out their nonstick pans, you can go to misen.com slash Jen Chapin for 20% off your first purchase. And like I said, later in the video, I'll be talking more about these pans and you'll get to see them in action. Okay, so right now I've already filmed my grocery haul and I'm just getting everything put away. Um, the kids came out to sit at the counter and have a snack because they always want to see <laughs> what I got at the grocery store. I think today's haul was pretty disappointing to them, but uh, either way, this was the stuff that we needed for this week. All right, so here's everything that I got from the store. Really not too much this week. Uh, I did get a bunch of produce for some recipes that I'm making though. So I ordered um, flat leaf parsley from Walmart and they gave me curly leaf parsley, which is totally fine. I'll be able to use it. Got some broccoli. I'm gonna make like a pan roasted uh, lemon broccoli recipe that I'm excited to try. So that's what that's for. I grabbed a bunch of bananas, two bunches of cilantro. I ordered two because I wasn't quite sure 
you know, sometimes they give you ones that are super small, but this week they gave me very large ones. So I didn't probably need to, but um, they were bigger. So I have those. I got two pounds of uh, Brussels sprout for a maple roasted Brussels sprout recipe I'm gonna try. And then for my fennel, I got two of those fennel bulbs at Hy-Vee. That's the only place I can get it here in town. And then I also grabbed some russet potatoes, just a five pound bag of those. Some romaine heart for salads this week. Um, I had a recipe that called for thyme and I wasn't sure how much I had left out on my plant on the deck and I think it may have frosted this weekend. I'm not sure. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed that. It's actually good that they had that at Walmart. A lot of times I order fresh herbs from there and they don't have them. So it's always a nice surprise. And then from Hy-Vee, I just grabbed some shredded lettuce. I'm going to do tacos this week and I always like to have shredded lettuce with those. And then I saw this in the produce section at Hy-Vee. It's just a little packet of hollandaise sauce. I don't know. I thought that would be good to have over some veggies or something so I thought I would try that and then I got some tomatoes for tacos and sandwiches this week I got one cucumber for either salads or snacking or whatever I'm also going to make a cauliflower gratin dish and so I grabbed one head of cauliflower for that the original recipe actually called for two heads of cauliflower um, but it serves eight to ten and I didn't think we need that much so I'm just going to cut it in half I got some shredded parmesan cheese the tub kind a uh, half gallon of whole milk for recipes two containers of sour cream. We're all out of sour cream, so I wanted to have a backup for that. I also got a two-pack of uh, the Philadelphia cream cheese, a pound of unsalted butter. Um, I got some sharp cheddar cheese to have on hand for recipes, and then cheese sticks keep in the fridge um, for the kids for snacking. And then I got Adam Everything Bagels this week. I actually ordered the cheddar bagels at Walmart, but they did not have them. And I tried to substitute Hawaiian bagels, but Adam doesn't care for like the Hawaiian bread and buns so I figured he wouldn't like those so I just went ahead and denied the substitution and then I picked these up at um, Hy-Vee instead. I got one loaf of bread that will be for sandwiches this week. I grabbed one bag of pretzels. We were all out of those and Connor likes to have those for a snack. We we're also all out of mayo so I grabbed a container of mayonnaise. Some Parmesan cheese. This is just the regular grated Parmesan, the Walmart brand. And then I also got two cans of crushed tomatoes for pantry and for a marinara sauce recipe that I want to try. Um, I got some crispy jalapenos. Adam likes to put these on his bagels with cream cheese. And we're all out of those. And then I also got some sliced almonds for a recipe. Um, we do have a bunch of hot dogs left that we thawed out and took with us to the cabin this weekend and didn't eat them. So I went ahead and grabbed just a pack of hot dog buns just to have on hand for those throughout the week. And then I got a two pound bag of the Southern style frozen hash browns. I got some of this CeraVe um, lotion for rough and bumpy skin. This is for that keratosis pilaris, I think is how you say it, kind of like the chicken skin. I got this for Cura to try out. It's common for kids to have that like on their upper arms and stuff. So I know I had it when I was a kid. Um, I never put anything on it. I don't know that <laughs> my mom ever got me anything to put on it, but I saw this and I thought it would be good for her to try. She said it does bother her, not like painful or anything, but it bothers her that her, her arms are like that, which obviously that's something that goes away as kids grow up. But anyway, I grabbed this for her to try. I've heard good things about the CeraVe brand. And then for drinks this week, these are both substitutions, but that's fine. We like all the flavors. So I got one um, 12 pack of the peach sparkling water, one 12 pack of the black cherry sparkling water, and then I also got some cherry coke zero. So that is all of the groceries that I got this week. I can share with you the meal plan although I think it's a pretty loose meal plan. So this is what I have in no particular order. I have potato soup, uh, crispy tacos with three fried beans, one night breakfast for dinner, pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Uh, one night I'm gonna do chicken stir fry with dumplings and rice and then either out or pizza. So pretty simple. And then I thought tonight we would actually do, I have some turkey meatloaf in the freezer that I got from Imperfect Foods and I'll probably just have it with the cauliflower gratin and some other sides. And this actually came uh, in the mail while I was gone. I ordered it last week. It's a new um, Carrie L meal planner. I This is probably my third or fourth one and the last one I had ran out and I was waiting for them to restock them. This is the mini meal planner and I really like the size of this one better than the full size one but I always have her site linked down below and I'm not sponsored or anything 
anything by her, but she did give me a discount code for you guys to use. So I'm not sure if these are still in stock, but there you can check them out. It's the best meal planner that I've found to use and I really like it because the grocery list tears out and then you can keep the um, your meal plans to look back on if you want to. I typically just keep them for as long as I have the book and then after I'm done I toss it. But yeah, these are super helpful I think for meal planning if you're looking for something like that. Okay, so I had to take care of this cooler that we took camping with us. I had emptied everything out of it back into our refrigerator. Uh, we didn't really take a lot of stuff that we didn't use so that was good but there was a lot of ice left in there so I just had to take that out into the yard and dump it out and then I just left the lid open to uh, let it air dry before I put it back in the garage. So I don't think I've shared this wreath with you guys yet but Nate from Pumpkin Butt Decor <laughs> reached out to me on Instagram and asked if he could send me a wreath to share with you guys and I do have a 20% off coupon code also so I said yes and beautiful. Um, I'll link their site down below as well as the coupon code which I believe is Jen Chapin 20 but they're all handmade and I just think they're so sinking cute. So if you guys are interested in any holiday the wreaths, you can check that out. I think I'm gonna actually order um, a Christmas one for later this year. So thank you, Nate, for sending that. It is so pretty and I love it. All right, so it's about 4.30 and I need to get a video uploaded, but first I'm gonna switch over some laundry. I think Adam put his laundry in the washer, so I'm gonna put it in the dryer and I probably have about 10 more loads to do today. <sighs> So it uh, seems that I'm gonna have to change my plans on <laughs> the video that I'm gonna upload today, which is fine. The one that I was gonna upload today was a, um, a vlog and I'm gonna have to upload that tomorrow, which is totally fine. So today I'm gonna go ahead and edit the um, cabin video that we just got back from. So it shouldn't take me that long because I don't have that many clips. I find that when we go on vacation, I just don't take the camera out a lot. I mean, I do take it out to take some photos like for my scrapbook albums and to overall document the trip in a video, but I just don't film a whole lot because honestly, I find it kind of like intrusive when I'm trying to like spend time with my my family so anyway I'm gonna edit this video tonight but right now it's 5 p.m. and I think I need to start dinner so we can try to eat around 6 or 6 30 so I think what I'm gonna do is take my laptop downstairs and that way I can work on that while I'm cooking dinner okay so this is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight I got these um, turkey Florentine meatloafs from imperfect foods so we haven't tried them yet one of them I just got rid of the box just to fit it in the freezer but I'm gonna go ahead and make two of them because they're a little bit small it says one serves three so they have have actually a lot of cool stuff on that site if you never tried them before not sponsored I use my own money to buy um, their stuff but I do have a coupon code if you guys want to try it out so I'll leave a link down below but this basically just says to bake it from frozen you put it in a dish and heat it for 45 minutes covered and then I got to decide what we're gonna have on the side okay I'm gonna stick these in the oven it's not preheated yet but it's fine <laughs> I'll heat up while he's in there. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna make baked potatoes. I always feel like I like baked potatoes with meatloaf. I feel like my grandma always made baked potatoes with meatloaf, so I'm gonna stick these in the oven. Okay, so I'm gonna get started making this lemon brown butter broccoli. I will type the recipe out in the description box below, as well as let you guys know what cookbook I got this from, but I was having a discussion with some of my friends the other day about vegetables and how they always get tired of having the same vegetable, and so I thought I would do some recipes that kind of show, you know, a new take on some old vegetables. So I decided to make this lemon brown butter broccoli, which turned out really good. And I got a chance to use my mise en pans. Uh, you guys know, like I said before, I have been using their products for a while and I definitely love their knives. And I also appreciate it when a company sends me products to try out well in advance. So I've been using these nonstick pans for a couple of months now. And I can honestly say that I love them. Uh, they are some of the best nonstick pans that I have ever owned. They are 
super sturdy, super heavy duty, and the finish is very non-stick. Um, if you guys watch some more of my videos, I'll be cooking eggs in them and things like that, which you can see that they release really well. So if you guys are interested in trying out their non-stick pans, you can go to misen.com slash Jen Chapin for 20% off your first purchase. For this broccoli, I kind of browned it up in the pan and steamed it, and then I emptied it to a bowl. Next, I'm making the brown butter, which is just butter and some garlic and some shallot, and then I'm going to add some fresh thyme to that. You do have to be careful when you are browning butter to make sure that you don't burn it, uh, but these pans are perfect because the bottom is very heavy duty, and so it doesn't tend to burn like other pans might. Next, I'm going to add the broccoli back in and toss it with the butter. All right, so we got dinner here. We got baked potatoes, and I made some broccoli, and here is the meatloaf, so I have to let you know how it tastes. So I feel like one thing I make all of the time is baked potatoes, and <laughs> I never get tired of them. It's just one of those things that's a super easy side. And like I said, today's meal, I just wanted to focus on the vegetable. It always seems like vegetables are like an afterthought, right? But I wanted to put uh, more effort into the broccoli, and obviously since the meatloaf was already prepared and the baked potatoes, those um, you know items were easier. Um, about the meatloaf, we did uh, like it. I would say that it's definitely a turkey meatloaf so it's a lot drier than a beef meatloaf would be but um, Adam and I really liked it the kids weren't too wild about it but they aren't really wild about meatloaf <laughs> in general so um, right now I am just fixing up Connor's baked potato he said that I put too much sour cream on there which I know I did but he still ate it anyway and then here is how that uh, brown butter broccoli turned out with the lemon so delicious I would definitely recommend this recipe if you're looking for a new way to serve broccoli broccoli is one one of those things that I make a lot, but I just never think to do anything special to it. I normally just steam it and put butter and salt and pepper on it, but this was definitely a great departure from that. And here was my plate. I had some of the turkey meatloaf with the baked potato and the broccoli. So, so good. All right. So it is, do not, do not mind the mess behind me. It is 8 PM and I just got done editing that video and I'm uploading it now. It always takes me way longer <laughs> than I think it's going to. Uh, isn't that the case for everything? So I'm going through the kids' suitcases right now and seeing if they have any clean clothes in here or if they're all dirty. I think they're all dirty. And then I'm gonna start a load of those. Um, just moved, <sighs> that's clean. <laughs> I just moved the uh, blankets and towels that I had in the washer over to the dryer. That's done. And I don't know how much of the laundry I'm gonna get done tonight. I'll probably have to do more tomorrow after work, um, but that's just the reality of like <laughs> coming home in the middle of the day. You're never gonna get it all done in the same day. If I had like two washers and two dryers, I could probably get it all done, but I don't. Okay, so Adam has a sweater that like sheds these little black fuzzy balls. They look like bugs, I assure you they're not. It's from his sweater. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna shut the Roomba in here and let it go, go. And then once I shut the door, it'll just vacuum the whole room. I don't have to worry about it. All right, and then before we left on Thursday, I did wash Connor's sheets. So I'm gonna make his bed. One, two, three. Ta-da! Done. Much better. Connor's gonna be super excited to sleep in his bed tonight, I'm sure. Which I'll give you guys an update. So I bought these kind of lightweight blankets for him at Walmart. One is more of like fleece material and this one's sort of like, what do you call this, like a thermal. But they're both really light and he likes them really well. He's a hot sleeper. <laughs> Like really really hot sleeper so sometimes he'll just use this one or this one I just ask him each night what he wants so I'll try to find them online and link them down below they were very um, inexpensive I mean as far as blankets go obviously because it's not like a full comforter um, but he really likes them Murphy's worn out he's like the time for bed yet humans all right so it's about quarter after nine the kids are finally in bed I feel like I have been with my family so much for the last four days and I love them dearly but I also do not want anyone to talk to me for the rest of the night or for like three more days straight. <laughs> do you guys feel like that? 
because I feel like that. All right, so I had a load of clean dishes to get put away, so that is what I'm working on now. I did get some questions from you guys on how I'm liking that new silverware set. Um, I shared that in a few um, a few videos ago. I can't remember exactly when. It's probably been a few weeks now, and we really like it. It's been holding up well. I love the sort of black matte finish of it. I just think it's super unique, and I put everything in the dishwasher pretty much, so <laughs> I definitely have been doing that, and they've been holding up well. Uh, next, of course, I had to uh, put another load of dishes in the dishwasher. Here's an honest question. Is there anyone that has two dishwashers? I feel like maybe if you cook as a profession, you might have two dishwashers, and maybe I'm just being ridiculous, but I feel like if I ever have a choice again, I'll have two dishwashers, and yes, maybe that's excessive, but it's definitely something that I could use on the regular. Okay, so it's quarter after 10, and I'm gonna get ready to go to bed, but I was gonna share with you guys what I got at this kitchen supply store in downtown Decorah. Uh, it was a little shop, but they actually had quite a bit of stuff in there. I was really impressed, and it's definitely one of those places, if it was closer to me, it would be dangerous. I feel like there's just not many of those small shops left, but I did pick up this box grater, and I already have a box grater. However, I wanted another one for the times when that one is in the dishwasher and I like the handle of it and then I also like that it has these larger um, grating holes on it to like if you want to grate like cheese or veggies or something and you want the shreds a little bit larger and then I also got this really nice stainless steel measuring cup set which obviously I already have you know stainless steel measuring cup sets but I thought that the shape of these were really cool and unique and honestly I didn't even look at how much these were but when I saw the price tag today they were $29.99 I was like holy crap if I would have seen that I don't think I would have purchased those I don't know if I didn't notice the price because it was on a different hook and it said it was cheaper but whatever anyway they're really pretty so I got that and then I've been wanting one of these for a while and I just real I just remembered it when I was there but this is a two cup measuring cup so this is really helpful for baking. There's lots of times when, you know, recipe people call for two cups of flour. And so I thought that was pretty cool. So I grabbed that. And then I have one of these in the Pampered Chef brand, but I do enough cooking and recipe videos that it's often helpful to have multiples of things, especially if I have like one load of dishes in the dishwasher and I'm like continuing on with another recipe. It's just helpful to have multiples of things. So this is only $5.99. I went ahead and grabbed another one of these. These are super handy to measure like liquid ingredients that are more than a tablespoon. So like if you're making a vinaigrette or a marinade or something like that, super helpful. I also thought this little whisk, this little silicone whisk was neat. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use it for, but I thought it would be convenient to use for eggs and stuff like that when you don't wanna dirty a large whisk. And then there was another like kind of home decor store down there and um, I'm gonna be photographing some recipes for my cookbook coming up and I'm trying to just collect like some neutral dishes um, that have like a matte finish just because they photograph easier so I grabbed this uh, ceramic plate I just think that the obviously the color is very neutral and I like the edging and then this is just kind of a wood um, charger that I thought would look nice under some of the dishes that I already have so I grabbed those and then I grabbed a couple of hot pads. My hot pads are just like a mess. <laughs> some of them are just like stained and stuff. So I need to I need to work on replacing some of them. I thought this silicone one was neat. You can obviously use this to either grab something out of the oven or use it as you know, a pad on the counter. And then I'm now wishing I would have gotten two of these just because I like the color and I like that it has this little pocket in there. It's MU Kitchen. I'm not sure how you say that, but that's what it looks like. So maybe I'll see if I can find another one of those online. But I just thought I would share with you guys. I was gonna share this in the um, camping video that I posted, but I didn't have a chance to film this before I posted it. So yeah, like I said, it's uh, quarter after 10 and I think I'm gonna go to bed now but I'm gonna continue this video on into tomorrow morning because I didn't have the chance to get some things done that I wanted to do tonight I need to pack the kids uh, or one of the kids lunch for school tomorrow and I wanted to wash some produce and stuff so I'm planning on getting up early like maybe around 4 30 or 5 so I will see you guys in the morning hey guys good morning it is 5 45 on Monday 
I just let Murphy out. I'm gonna give him a treat. Then I'm gonna make some coffee and figure out what mug shall I use. So I decided to brew a carafe of coffee this morning so Adam and I could share it. Connor requested a breakfast sandwich for breakfast, which is basically just toast with an egg and cheese on it. That's one of his favorite things to have before school. I got his lunch packed up, which was a PB and J. All right, guys. So thank you so much for coming along with me on today's weekend prep video. I know it was a shorter one, but I got done what I wanted to get done in a limited amount of time, and that's what's important. So thanks again for watching. If you guys want to check out any of Misen's non-stick pans I'll have a link in the description box below I totally love their products you guys know I've talked about their knives at length <laughs> and I'm happy to also recommend their non-stick pans they are fabulous so check that link out if you want to get your own thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye